Hello, this is John Millar for discussion number two. And to go over the four questions, uh, is there still a need for brick and mortar stores? Yes, people like to sometimes go into stores to try stuff on. My personal experience is with ballet shoes that we've tried to order from Amazon and they never fit correctly. Uh, the biggest problem I see with brick and mortar stores is inflation that drives the cost of employees too high, causing businesses to look for ways to cut employee costs. Um, the malls that have experiences like Grapevine Mills Mall with Legoland and movie theaters are packed while old-fashioned malls where kids used to just hang out are empty. To the second question, uh, Amazon Go. It's kind of funny to think where Amazon is now, kind of following the footsteps of Sears, which 100 years ago started off as a mail order and started building more warehouses and eventually started letting people shop inside those warehouses and pick things up directly from the warehouse and slowly transition to having direct stores so that Amazon is following the same path as Sears 100 years later is interesting. But I feel Walmart and Target will continue to follow Amazon and have more technology and innovation. Uh, to the robots replacing humans, I go back to the inflation problem and employees wanting more money for their efforts. The moment California passed the $15 minimum wage was the moment McDonald's put kiosks in all of their stores in California and laid off half the employees. So as employee costs go up, robots will continue to increase in use and in productivity. It does amaze me that you can have a robot lay a brick, uh, brick sidewalk I do like the idea of robots monitoring the floors and in, in uh, the restaurants and different places to make look for spills and slippage. To the fourth question, uh, where is technology going? It does bother me to think of grocery stores trying to put TV advertisements in all of their shelves. But I definitely see them going that way. Any empty space, they would want to definitely have some utilization from. Personally, I'd like to see more stores utilizing 3D printing, like a Toys R Us having a, you know, experience for kids to play with toys and look at toys and get to see which toys they like and then have their particular toy just printed out so shelves don't have to be occupied with just tons and tons of inventory. Short term, I was surprised that companies like Starbucks still aren't on the cloud and still aren't getting all the analytics from their machines, but that's definitely where I think every company is going in the next five years is more and more analytics.